Why do we lock up all the fats and get low fat obsessed? Some might say it's a frame job. A setup. You see, according to the New York Times, when a trade group for the sugar industry paid three Harvard scientists to study the links between sugars, fats, and heart disease, the results glossed over sugars and made saturated fats take the fall. Then one of the scientists from that study got a new job at the USDA and infused the dietary guidelines with some seriously anti-fat attitudes that have lasted for decades. Now, if you thought going through a metal detector was bad, try being a mango. The USDA calls for them to be dunked in 115 degree water before they're shipped to prevent invasive fruit flies from taking the trip with them. Once they make it on the flight, fruits may be preserved through something called controlled atmosphere technology. This is a process where the levels of carbon dioxide, oxygen, and nitrogen in the fruit's container are manipulated to slow the ripening process. Each step in this process could prevent the development of certain flavors we love or introduce others that we don't. If milk could be healthy for our bodies, what's it doing for our brains? Recent studies show that experiencing a sense of nostalgia can be a source of optimism, creativity, and other positive emotional affects. It can even help you live a healthier lifestyle. So while no one should overindulge on sugary sweets, having a nostalgic treat like cereal milk can be a good thing in moderation. There's one green that is a next level culinary wonder. It may surprise you since it's been on so many of our dinner tables over the years, especially at grandma's house. That's right, let's give it up for collard greens. They thrive throughout the U.S., which means you can get them fresh almost any time of year. They're also chock full of nutrients like vitamin K for healthy bones, vitamins A and C to support the immune system, potassium for muscle function, and fiber for digestive health and lower cholesterol, which can help prevent heart disease. They're a delicious soul food staple that also shines in salads and smoothies. Once collards are in the kitchen, there's no way they'll make it in the compost bin. They'll all get eaten. Enjoy going green, my friends. You'll be glad you did. If heritage grains are extra helpful because they're so old, what would happen if we started embracing more things that are ancient? Could those grains from the Earth's distant past be the key to our future? What is an ancient grain, you ask? Heritage grains have been around for several generations, hundreds of years, but ancient grains have been around for thousands of years, dating back to before mankind started cultivating grains. Some of these grains have much more nutrition and flavor than modern wheat. Let's talk about three chocolate superpowers. Number one, chocolate has antioxidants. Mean little henchmen called free radicals can cause damage to your cells, but antioxidants can help fight them off. Number two, chocolate may be good for your heart. A clinical trial found that subjects who consumed cocoa powder for four weeks had less bad LDL cholesterol and increase good HDL cholesterol. That's the kind that lowers your risk for heart disease and stroke. Number three, chocolate may improve brain function. There are some studies that associate the flavonoids in cacao with better brain power and thinking skills in older adults. Scientists don't know exactly why this is yet, but I'm sure if they keep eating their chocolate, they'll figure it out.